It's a time of just celebration and life together. We love it, so we incorporate it into our lives. We just got dropped off on the side of the road by the bus and our host was supposed to pick us up but a little bit of confusion as to exactly where we're being picked up. Yeah. So um, we will not be staying at the main hostel. Basically we're staying at this cabana that's in the works and uh, we're gonna hopefully get a little bit of the construction done. Right now, it's uh, definitely a work in progress. But when it does get done, it probably is gonna be really cool. And uh, it does have a pretty epic view, so it'll definitely make for a great morning coffee. Okay, so today we're chilling at the hostel that our ministry hosts basically operate. We went out for a little morning Devo this morning with our ministry host here, um, and he was doing a little Bible lesson with us, um, taking us through different parts of scripture and explaining his ministry here. So it's really cool to just uh, get a little grasp for what they're doing here, what their heart and their goal is with this ministry in Argentina. And what's really exciting is that every week here at the hostel, they are going out throughout the week, inviting backpackers, inviting tourists to a Friday afternoon Shabbat meal that they do. They do a Shabbat meal every single week. Just try to invite as many people to come over and just take part of this Shabbat meal and um, hopefully be able to share a, a bit about what we believe about Jesus and about salvation, what it looks like to live in the freedom that Christ has given us. So yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to this dinner tonight. Um, just being able to love on all the people that are gonna come for the Shabbat dinner, getting to experience my first Shabbat dinner. I've I've wanted to do one for a really long time. I'm hoping to learn a lot from it because I think it would be cool to start implementing in the States.
and they shared Shabbat with us. It's a time of just celebration and life together. We love it, so we incorporate it into our lives. bears when an ox plows a field he puts that heavy yoke upon his shoulders you could relate it to a heavy backpack he says take take my yoke follow me learn from me for i am gentle and lowly in heart and you will find rest for your souls for my yoke is easy and my burden is light so jesus the one who knows us in every thought and every emotion and everything in our past. He says, I know you have troubles. I know you're heavy laden. I know what you're trying to bear in this life, but I want to take it from you. He says, give me your backpack and take mine. Mine is light. Mine is easy. I'm gentle and I'll give you rest for your souls. 